That's really nice. Leave you hang on, I'll get you and your dog some food. Merry Christmas. You too. So, where are we off to? Actually, I thought I might go to church. You never go to church. Just thought I'd see what all the fuss was about. Drinking all last night. This is going to be the best Christmas ever. Where's my present? What present? Oh, come on, I want it now. No chance, mate. Well, I'll have that back then. Get it here. No, get up, get up. Give it's me. my hat. It's Give my me. hat, mate. Come on, get it then. What Father Christmas bought you, eh? He was a lucky girl. You like these, don't you? You big kid. You couldn't wait, could you? Sorry. Oh, that's all right. Look, Grant, just for today, let's try and forget this mess, shall we? Yeah, right. Come on, please try. Even if only for Courtney's sake. Phil and Jamie's still coming for dinner. Yeah, why? Brilliant. One big happy family. Oh. oh. Oh, no. Merry Christmas, love. Roy, why didn't you wake me up? Look at the time. The turkey should have gone in hours ago. All right, all right. Don't panic. Don't panic. It's Christmas Day. I've got a million things to do. Yeah. Uh, um, I'll make us a nice cup of tea, shall I? No. No, you make the stuffing. Wow. Well, I don't know. Read the packet. Roy! I can't accept this, Beppe. Well, I can't take it back. I nicked it from the lost and found. What? No, I didn't. I'm pleased, Tiff. I really want you to have it. I said no. Oh, I'm sorry. I just thought... You know how I feel about you, don't you? Should we go? Just that want to pick up Courtney. I've missed her so much. Well, you won't have to be parted from her ever again after today. No. Tiff? Sorry. It's just that I'm not sure about making this statement. Don't be scared. Once you've told the police that Grant pushed you, he won't be able to hurt you anymore. You're doing the right thing. The right thing? Grasping up my husband? Look, um, can we go back to yours first? Just that I really don't want to be rushed and I want to pick up Courtney anyway. You ain't going to go through with it, are you? He's not getting a parking ticket. We're talking about attempted murder. Darling, did I ever tell you how beautiful you are? Mm, I think you might have mentioned it. Oh. <laughs> I tell you what, Peggy, these, uh, these sprouts look a bit trumpy, love, don't they? What? Yeah. Oh, don't say that. Now, Mark told me they were the best... At... What's this? Well, go on in, open it. What are you up to? Merry Christmas, darling. You do like it, don't you? Oh, oh, it's gorgeous, darling, but to be honest, I'm going through the motions and I don't know how I'm going to get through Christmas. Hey, I don't want to hear any of that. Not today. Give me a Christmas kiss. Nice, Ben. Now, don't go in there, Dot. I'm going to be late. Here, Vicar, don't you look handsome. <laughs> no, Thanks. just pop this inside and then we'll be off. Vicar! Have you thought any more about me doing a karaoke version of Three Kings? I'm sure the congregation would be totally amazed. <laughs> I'm glad that I... But you've done so much already, Doc. Oh. Your new harmonies and Art the Era were a total revelation at Midnight Mass. I couldn't possibly ask you. Oh, I don't mind. Well, I know, in your heart, you'd much rather stay and help Lily cook the dinner when she wakes up. I think we can just about manage without you, Doc. Oh, well, if you're sure. I am very sure.
What do you want to do? What? Well, I can take you to Simon's if you like. I expect your mum will be there. No. Do you want to come into the flat? Look, um, I'm going to find the Vic. You can take my bag in for me, though, if you like. OK. Merry Christmas. Hello, Tiffany. Where are you? All oh, right. I oh, can't wait till after dinner. Oh, come on, it's Christmas. But she's having such a great time. Frank, can you open this? Tiffany. Look, it's no good shouting the odds. She's not going anywhere. <laughs> this could be the last Christmas I spend with her if you... Don't give me that. I know you're going to try and take her away from me. Courtney stays with me. Take it, Tiffany's out of hospital. Yeah. Now, listen, I, I think I'll go around and see if Vicky's coming over here. Do you think that was wise, Grant? I mean, the, the poor Courtney's girl's... staying with me. You did say you were going to make an effort. No. You did. Come in, darling. Yeah. You good. Aren't you good? Hey. He just hung up on me. What does he think he's doing? Don't tell me you're surprised. No, you're right. I've been stupid. I might have known something like this would happen. But I can't keep fighting him, can I? It's getting me nowhere. I want to go to the police station. You're sure? Yeah, I am. I want to make that statement and I want to get my daughter back. Right. <laughs> hey! <laughs> right then. Five minutes before the end of the film, we'll bang on the TV dinner so they'll be ready in time for the Queen's speech. You what? Tradition, mate. Got to stick with tradition. Right. Come on, then, mate. Let's do rounds first, see how many drinks we can nick off and leave. Oh, no, you're talking! <laughs> Merry Christmas. Yeah. You should have known Bianca would have gone through the roof, especially after last time. But crawling out there, son, all that community service, didn't you learn anything? Oh, no, it was stupid. I just thought if I could get the money, it'd make everything all right. And if you'd have found out from your cellar Teresa, I mean, she would have forgiven you. I wondered how those pine needles got in the back of my van. Oh, no, I should have asked you. I'm sorry, all right? Well, I suppose you was doing it for Bianca and the baby. You was doing it for them, weren't you? Yeah. Go on, drink that. Come over to Vic, I'll buy you a pint. No, not now. I just want to go and talk to Bianca first. Well, that's probably a better idea, yeah. I thought we were going up for Ricky. Season of goodwill and all that. He knows where I am. I don't want to go to church. How come you've suddenly gone all religious? Sonia, it's Christmas. I've got a lot to be thankful for. Tiff, you're home! Me! Hey. Oh, good to see you. How are you? All right. Well, you know. Why? What's wrong? Grant won't let me have Courtney. I just phoned him and he hung up. What a pig. What are you going to do? I don't know. Try again later, I suppose. What else can I do? I'll get her. Don't be silly. You can't look at you. I'm fine. Listen, I'm going over to Pat's for dinner. I'll go to the Vic after that about two-ish, all right? I ain't going to let you have Courtney. Don't worry about it. You just leave it to me. All right, I'll see you later. All right. Bye. I don't think you should do this. I owe it to her, Sonia. Yeah. What about Grant? Well, what about Grant? Oh, come on, Hugh, mate, give it up. There's no one home. Well, well no, Vickers have got really great booze, none of your cheap stuff. Yeah, and how do you know that? Well, we do have Vickers' daughters in Wayne Flynn. <laughs> Silly me. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. What do you want? Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. We thought we could come in for a quick Christmas tipple. What time is it? It's nearly 11. No. Oh, no, it, it can't be. Well, what about that drink? No. Buzz off, both of you. <laughs> Laid a place for Janny, just in case. I won't bother. Oh, that's right. Look on the bright side, why don't you? Oh, I hope Beppe gets here in time for dinner. How come it's all right for Beppe to go out on Christmas Day, but not for me? It's different. No, it's not. You've been killed. Oh, great. Mum, I don't want to spend all day playing shoot em ups with little Joe. It's boring! This isn't a family. It's a bunch of sulky misfits. 
I'm trying to hold everything together, but what's the point? You're all so selfish. You just think of yourselves. Well, that's right. Blame it all on me. I had to go to Mass this morning on my own. What would your father have said to that, eh? Oh, do what you like. I don't care anymore. You mean it? I can go out? Yeah, if you must. Thanks, Mum. I'm just going to go and put my face on. Right then, sweetheart, looks like it's just you and me. How does this thing work? It's okay, everyone, Mama. Thanks very much. Merry Christmas. Hiya. Thank you. Merry Lovely Christmas. Service. Thank, Thank you very much. Yeah. Merry, Christ Merry Christmas. Oh, Bye. Mark, I'm glad you came. Merry Christmas. Maybe we'll see a bit more of you in the future. But I'm not sure I'm ready to join the flock just yet, Alex, but sir, <laughs> Christmas makes you think, doesn't it? I understand. You know, it's empty chairs around the table, don't you? Yeah, something like that. Mary, you're a Catholic. What's happened? Take the wrong turning. <laughs> just keep them our company, that's all. <laughs> uh, Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Merry Christmas. Bianca, you OK? Yeah, I enjoyed it. It's what it's all about, isn't it? Christmas. Yeah, that's right. I mean, some people just get stuck into the frankincense and myrrh, don't they? But, but it's uh, great you made the effort. Yeah, you're a good girl, Bianca. Don't let no-one tell you no different. What's that supposed to mean? Well, on her own with a baby coming. I mean, some people, not me, of course, but some people would frown on that. I mean, it's different for Tiffany, cos grants are brewed. Nobody don't blame her. Oh, all right, Doc. Merry, Merry Christmas. Merry Have Christmas. I missed it? Yeah, what happened? You said you'd wake me up. Well, I tried, but you was dead to the world. Oh, what did you do? Whisper? A foghorn wouldn't have got through that snoring. Ladies, please, it's Christmas. What are you talking about? I don't snore. Well, you ain't away. Yourself. <laughs> You've got no chance of her going to sleep. I hope Fish will go down in a minute. She woke up so early this morning. Just wanted to see her open a present, you know. Plus, uh, well, I want to spend every minute I can with her right now. Grant, you, uh, you're you going to get through this. Anybody sees you with that little girl, knows you ain't a bad one. Thanks, Frank. I really don't need this dress, you know, Grant. Especially today. Mum. Well, you know, you're just asking for trouble. It's only natural Tiffany wants to be with Courtney. Peggy, it's none of our business, darling. Oh, yes, it is. No, it's not. Grant is her father. It's up to him what he does. Come and help me set the table downstairs. Come on. Do I have to come? I mean, I don't mind staying in on my own. It's Christmas and you're a Mitchell. Anyway, Mum would have me guts for guards if it didn't show. Now, all you got to do is be polite and eat everything they put in front of you. Yeah, but Phil... But it's it... just for one day you can manage that, can't you? Right, you go out and get the presents, take them over to Pat's, I've got to pop over the Vic. Do you want me to come with you? No, then Mitchells don't frighten me. Anyway, Frank could be there, wouldn't he? Oh, I'm so glad you came today. I thought you might have changed your mind. Were you mean mum, didn't you? Oh, I wish you and Ryan would make up. Especially today. Well, don't you have to be talking to do that? Hello, Bianca. Hello, Piggy. And how are you? I've got a message from Tiffany. Oh, yeah, well, Grant's upstairs. I'll go and get... No, don't bother. She wants Courtney back today. Grant said he spoke to her. Yeah, he did. And he really upset her, so you either bring Courtney over Pat's at two or I'll be back in here to get her. Who do you think you're giving orders to? Phil. You wouldn't have a girl a pregnant woman, would you, Phil? Oh, no, of course not. You can leave that to your brother. Bianca, darling. Uh, was she looking for Ricky? No, she was looking for a fight. I really don't need this. Bianca! You ain't got any bread in your house, have you? Only patch one out and Dad's in the doghouse. No, sorry. What's wrong? It's called being heavily pregnant, Barry. Oh, right. right. Season's greetings and all that, eh? Yeah, you too. Right. What are you doing? You uh, spending Christmas at home here? Yeah? No, I'm in Sutton. You're going over Pat's for lunch. Oh, right. You, uh, you were there last year, weren't you? Yeah. So you have tasted yeah, it. Yeah, cheers, Tara! Josh is a bit of a laugh, isn't she? Yeah, a bit stingy with the sherry, though, mate. Oh, well, where to next? Great idea. How about Pat's? Oh, yeah, she's always got loads of booze. Come on. <laughs> 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 a word of warning. Just eat before you come for Pat's. Yeah, yeah, Merry Christmas. <laughs> 
There's a disaster going on over there. Why is that? Bianca. Oh, I've got nothing to say to you. Oh, Bianca, wait! Have you blown up with her again? It's Christmas Day, mate. Are you a moron? I mean, how do you manage that? Every... What's going on? You see me, he's gone mental. I've had enough of you. Yeah, ditto, mate! You got some kitchen roll, Peter spilled his drink. Yeah, it's over there. Oh, and Ian, keep the children away from the presents, will you? We're not going to open them till after dinner. I don't think they'll last that long. They're very excited. All right, well, just one or two, then. Hello. Hiya. Hiya, happy Christmas. Not too early, am I? No, no, come on in. Well, it's going to be a full house today. I'm pleased you decided to stay for Christmas. You're pleased too, aren't you? Yeah. Christmas. Merry Christmas. Mm. Merry Christmas. Thought you might like this with dinner. Oh, that's kind of you. Didn't have to, but thank you. Hey, right, Pauline. Mm. Michelle's on the phone. Oh, mine. What are you doing here? Polite, isn't he? Mm. Oh, no, it's, I, I thought you were spending Christmas with a friend. Yeah, I am. Mary. All oh, right, that's great. Here, you can help me think up some games for later. Oh, that's nice, darling. Oh, Jamie. Have a cheese straw. I made it myself. No, thanks. Get some here, darling. Thank you. Now, listen, young man, this is my first Christmas with the Mitchells, and that ain't so bad for you because you're family. But I reckon if we both keep the governor sweet, we both might survive, yeah? What do you say? He's a good man, good man. I don't know why people make such a big fuss over Christmas. It's just another day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, so is a cup final, and so is your birthday. And yeah, so... I get the message. If you don't lighten up, young man, I'm going to make you play charades. So here it is. Merry Christmas. <laughs> your body's having fun. Tell me you invited you and Lenny. I didn't. They said they popped in for a Christmas drink. Hey, drink? You mean the drink, don't you? I mean, they're going through it like wildfire. Roy, get rid of them. I've got enough people coming as it is. Here. Where did you buy these spuds? What? Well, the other day, what? Well, look at them. They're all rotten. What? No, they can't be. Oh, it's great. Turkey won't be ready till four. We've got no veg. The stuffing's in the bin. This way, we'll be having trifle for Christmas dinner. Ah. Oh. Ah, oh, what? Well, you know that instant custard stuff. Well, I couldn't get the grips with it. And I, I know we've got lots of other things, haven't we? Say nothing. But please, calm down, will you? Calm know? down! Calm down! I, I'll get that, shall I? <sighs> no, no, we're oh. going we're we're to finish first. We just no, need to find a bit of We're going to beat Daddy. No, no we've done it. that off me, yeah? No, we finished. Don't you switch the motor on. Can I get you a drink? Done it. No, thanks. Listen, I'm sorry about last night. I don't know what you think I said, but I'm sure you have. my way, OK? Here, let me help with that. No, no, you're grand. Your little secret's out. What? Oh, you haven't succumbed to his charms yet, then. Oh, Connor, of course. Get lost. It's so obvious you like each other. Not anymore. Strictly one-way traffic, as far as I'm concerned. If you say so. Oh! 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 Well, What's happened? I've just burnt my hand on the oven. Get a look. Oh, that looks nasty. Look, I'll take over from you. No, no, I can manage. No, let him, Mum. Well, come on, go sit yourself down. Put your no, feet up for a change. Right. Please, Pauline, I'll help you. Come on. Come on. Come on. Merry Christmas! Ah! Merry Christmas! Ah! <laughs> you know, I'm really impressed with God, aren't I? It can't be easy for him with all this hanging over his head, you know. Oh, you've forgotten Phil and Jamie's present. I didn't bother. Phil doesn't give a monkey, so why should I? No, you're wrong. This is for you. Right, here we go. Oh, thank Angel. you, darling. That's lovely. Grant. Cheers. Phil, Jamie. Cheers. Right, may I suggest a toast? To a new start. To the Mitchells, getting on with each other for a change. Simple, but very heartfelt. And pigs might fly. That's it. I've had enough. Mum, what are you doing? Getting as far away from you two as possible. Well, well done, fellas. I think you blew it. 
Hang on, darling, I'm coming. But what about dinner? Thank you, Cat. <laughs> Bye. Just remind me not to go there again next year, mate. Why? Didn't you like Ian's amazing magic tricks? No. <laughs> How about eating the vicarage? Oh, I'd rather go back to the Fowlers. Oh. What about the Vic? Barging on their family Christmas. I'm sure that'll go down really well with the psycho in residence. You big girl. You scared of Grant Mitchell? After what he did to Tiffany, it's too right I am. All right, then. Why don't we call it quits, mate? Let's go. Yeah, good idea. I'm starving. Aye! Ah. Oh, go on, then. Ah. Go on, then. Should I put the telly on? No, I don't bother. I'm not very good company, am I? Yeah, so maybe you should go home. What for? Nicky's done a runner, Janney's staying with mates, Beppe's not around, and Mum is miserable. And I thought I had it bad. We can be miserable together. <laughs> you can get the telly on, I'll sort out the grill. Okay, fine. <laughs> oh, sorry, didn't realise you had company. Why don't you bring her downstairs? And why don't you mind your own business, eh? Look, this is stupid. You got to let Tiff have Courtney, you know that, don't you? I mean, what are you going to do when Bianca goes round? You're going to go off your head? Well, that ain't going to do you any favours, is it? Well, you think I might succeed this time? No, of course not. But you still think I did it, don't you? Well, at least Tiffy knows it was an accident. She admitted as much when I went to see her in the hospital. What? That's right. It's just a shame my own brother didn't believe me. Look, it wasn't like that. I didn't know what to think, did I? I mean, one minute you like a couple of lovebirds, the next thing I know, she wants to walk out and then goes flying down the stairs. Sorry. What do you want? I was just wondering when we were going to eat. He's right. Come on. <sighs> You're enjoying that, aren't you? Yeah, I always wanted to be a chef. You can imagine what my dad said. No son of mine's gonna be a potsy cook. What about your mum? She'd have supported me if I wanted to join the Bolshoi Ballet. Wouldn't matter what I did, as long as I was happy. You miss her, don't you? Yeah. She was one in a million. Oh, then, sir, she'd like a refill. Don't forget the mince pies. I'll make it. Nah, I don't mind. No, it's too crowded in here. Things not going too well. Mark. You and Connor. What is it with everyone? There isn't a me and Connor, OK? There never was. It's just a chance, I'm not interested. Sorry. Must have got hold of the wrong end of the stick. Yeah, you did. I know it was none of my business. The only reason I warned you off him is... You're too nice. You deserve someone better than you. Better make that tea. We rang Ben this morning. Couldn't wait to get off the phone and play with his toys. Yeah, well, that's no morning. Yeah, I suppose I should have expected it. He's a little kid. Yeah. A little kid who's coping without his dad. Yeah, well, if I hadn't played around, none of this would have happened, would it? I'm gonna lose Courtney. I've already lost Tiffany. That last night we were together, Phil, it was perfect. When we loved each other. I mean, really, really loved each other. So what happened? She found out. What about this other woman? Yeah. Look, you might not think so now, Grom, but she'll forgive you. No. She will. She's nuts about you. Despite the rows, I mean, you split up and you get back together again. This other woman, it's just a one-off. She means nothing. Plenty of blokes have been caught playing around. Not with their mothers in law they don't. Louise. Mad or what, eh? <sighs> no. No, I mean, it's, it's not like you did it on purpose, and... I suppose I can see why. I really went for him yourself, didn't I? I wanted to tell you, I just didn't know how. You should have trusted me, I'd have understood. I know. Thanks, Phil. Oh, B! B, love, you shouldn't be rushing about in your condition. I'll go over and get caught, me. No, honestly, Pat, it'll be fine. Anyway, you've got enough to do. Well, take me a sec. You know Ricky's gonna be over there, don't you? It's nothing to do with him. I promise to you, if that's all. Oh, wow. 
Monzo's bedtime. What are you doing? <laughs> Monkey business. <laughs> what is it? It's a film, two words. You're doing the old thing, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Godzilla. <laughs> Planet of the Apes. No, no. Two words, we said. Right. Dinner will be ready about five. Right. Five? Jungle yeah. Book. Oh. Oh, I must be a fuse. Me cooker. The turkey, Roy, do something. Hang on. I'm going to persuade that young man to come inside. That's the true meaning of Christmas, caring and nurturing. Yes, well, I reckon with the electric off, it won't be no warmer in there than it is out here. Ah, well, we travel warm us all up. Well, well, in that case, it's a wonder you ain't boiled over. <sighs> well, it's not a fuse. It must be a power car. Well, that's all we need, isn't it? Right. So where's Courtney? I'll go and see if I can find out what's happening. Jamie. Oh, I'm waiting. Hey, Jeff's phoning the electricity board. What are you doing out here? Come on in. It's you brilliant. have a word with him. He won't listen to me. What? Come into the vicarage. It's nice and warm there. You'll like it. You're full of good ideas, you are. I'm just doing the Christian thing. Are you saying I ain't a Christian? I told Dad it could be a couple of hours before the power's back on. Oh, how are we going to finish cooking the dinner? Stop worrying, will ya? You did the right thing. Yeah. Why would I lie? I don't believe you. A house full of blokes and you've got no mistletoe. Yeah, well, Lenny don't need it to get the girls to kiss him, does he? Not do you. Well, leave it out. I kissed you, didn't I? Yeah, right. It was in the line of duty. Didn't have much choice, did we? It wasn't too painful, was it? Are you deaf? I said no. I don't care what you say, Grant. You've got no right to do this. I'm taking her. Courtney has nothing to do with you. Come here, Lenny. What are you taking her? Downstairs. She was having a great time until you turned up. Now, you two might want to shout and scream at each other, but she don't want to hear it. Like I said, if Tiffany wants her, she comes here. Why should she after what you did to her? She's scared stiff of you, Grant. That's rubbish. No, it's not. Tiffany's my best friend. Look, I've known her longer than you have, and we're closer than you'll ever be. I understand her, Grant. You don't even try to. And what do you know? I don't know who you think you are. You've destroyed her. She's never going to be the same again because of you. If I had my way, Grant, you'd be locked up till you rot. You don't deserve to be walking around. Right, I've had enough of your mouth. Get out of my pub! Where's Courtney's staff? That's my bedroom! Get out! Bianca! Bianca! I ain't letting you take her. Right, what are you gonna do? A repeat performance? Sling me down the stairs and all? Go on, Gran, try it. I bet you'd love that, wouldn't you? I've told you! Get out! <laughs> Stay with Courtney. Well, what is it? What's wrong? I felt it before, but I didn't think it was anything. What's going on? It's like crying in labour. 